Hi, thanks for joining me again. I'm Kirsten Burke and this is another video to go with the book Secrets of Modern Calligraphy. In this third video, I'm going to talk about ink flow as it can be tricky to get right when you first start. The easiest way to understand ink flow is to know how the nib works, so let me explain. Your pointed nib is made of two pieces of metal which fit together perfectly. These are called tines. If you look closely at the nib, you'll see a small hole called a vent which holds the ink. When you put pressure on the nib by pressing it down on the paper, the tines open up and the ink will travel down the slit. Each letter is made of different shapes created by using up cross and down strokes. If the tines aren't able to open when you create these strokes you'll get scratching and the ink won't flow. You need the tines to be flat against the paper so that they push on the paper evenly. If your nib is tilted to one side, the tines won't be able to open up. Before dipping in ink, place your nib on the paper and press down on it. You see those tines opening up? That's perfect. Just what you want. Look at how you're holding the pen so the tines can open up like that. Left-handed. Right-handed. Now dip your pen into the ink so that vent, the little hole, is submerged. You don't want to submerge the whole nib because you'll get covered in ink doing that. I like to pour some ink into a tea light holder, then I can see how deep I'm dipping. Practice getting your downstrokes flowing. And if you're finding the ink is dripping onto your paper, then drag the nib gently against the side of the pot just after you dip. If the ink won't flow, try giving the nib a wiggle on the spot. If that doesn't work, the ink could have dried up on the nib. Ink can get sticky. Dip your nib into some water and then wipe it clean. If this still feels scratchy, try adjusting the angle of your paper slightly until the nib is easily opening. Think of the tines as though they are a pair of skis sliding down a slope. Don't be tempted to move your pen around as you write. Keep that pen in the same position. See here how awkward it is as I move the pen to follow the angles of the lettering. Keeping your ink flowing on your upstroke is tricky. The lightest of touch is required, with the nib just kissing the page. Keep practicing your upstrokes, and if you're having trouble, Loosen the grip on your pen, that can help too. I hope these tips help you to keep your ink flowing. Enjoy getting to know your pen. The more you practice, the easier it becomes. In my next video, I'm going to take it a step further and show you how to get really good thick and thin contrast so that your lettering comes alive.